We have Representative Mike Gallagher on the phone. Congressman, can you hear me, please? I hear loud and clear. This is Major Garrett. Uh, I'd like you to tell me what you think of today, what you believe will be happening in the next two hours, and do you believe the House will reconvene to get back to business in chambers or in the uh, Ways and Means Committee room later on this evening? I mean, this was absolute insanity. I mean, this was banana republic territory, and um, it's unacceptable. And, and it's, it, you know, I, I think I've, I've opposed the objection from the start on constitutional grounds, but I think the fundamental problem that no one wanted to say out loud is that the objectors thought that they could have a debate, you know, raise awareness to voter, you know, fraud issues or voting irregularities, but because they wouldn't actually achieve their objective. They all knew that they had no chance of actually overturning the election, but they could have it both ways. But the problem is they gave a lot of people false hope and they got a lot of people fired up. And now we're seeing the consequences of that play out. And this is just absolutely unacceptable. The, the president needs to, to, to call it off. These people need to stand down. I mean, this is this is America. This is the United States Capitol. And we're sitting here with our, our, our walls barricaded, our doors barricaded. Someone was shot at the U.S. Capitol. The closest thing that I can think of that this reminds me of is the time I spent in Iraq in 2007 and 2008. Is insurrection too strong a word, Congressman? I, you know, the problem is it's like everyone's in a rush to label everyone else uh, a traitor. I, what, I just want this to stop. And we have to support the peaceful transition of power. I mean, that, that's it. We have to accept the fact that the election's over. And the more we traffic in the idea that somehow Congress is going to overturn the results of the election, the more we incite dangerous things like this. And that's just unacceptable. So it's over. I wish Republicans had won. It sucks. I get it. But, you know, there are consequences to going down this road. Congressman Gallagher, it's Ed O'Keefe of CBS News. Thank you again for joining us. As you said, you're not one of those objecting to the results of the Electoral College. You were among the Republicans who reluctantly accept these results and want to move on. Um, I know you, you made a fair point about not ascribing titles and, and blame and whatnot, but it does seem like your party especially, and your House conference most of all, is going to have to have a serious conversation with itself about what it has allowed to occur today. And I just wonder, whether you think that conversation will happen, could happen, and what might transpire? Well, the conversation is going to have to happen in the next few hours. And the objectors are going to have to ask themselves whether they seriously want to persist in their objection after what they've seen today. And again, knowing that what they're doing has no chance of being successful, that it is all a stunt. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty cynical ploy right there. So at a minimum, when we get back together at a conference, I think we all have to say we're not going to persist in the objection. We support the peaceful transfer of power, uh, and we're done perpetuating this fiction that somehow Congress has the authority to overturn the results of the state. Congressman, to what degree have you been communicated with by leadership about what will happen tonight? Will you reconvene? I've been told that it's possible that the House may reconvene, not in the chamber itself, but in the Ways and Means Committee room. Uh, if that message came down, I missed it. Uh, I haven't gotten that. Uh, uh, so, you know, I have, I've heard nothing from formally from, from leadership right now. But I would imagine they're trying to figure it out. Uh, and all the focus right now is just on making sure this thing doesn't escalate any further, uh, making sure that the, you know, now violent protesters disband, abide by the curfew. But I have not heard anything about when we're going to reconvene. Do you believe it's necessary for Congress to send a message that it get back to business as soon as possible? Yes, 100 percent. I think it's necessary for Congress to send the message that we support the peaceful transition of power and that we, as the federal government, don't have the right to overturn the will of the states and, by extension, the American people. Uh, that is sort of schoolhouse rock Constitution 101. Congressman Mike Gallagher, we thank you so very much for joining us.